Welcome to Tools, Tech, and Gear. I'm Seth. Today I'm installing a couple of wireless bridge to send wireless internet from my house down here to my workshop. It's about 150 feet distance and I don't want to have to run a physical cable down here. These Adlove wireless bridge can reach up to about three miles, so you can definitely extend your Wi-Fi signal pretty far without having to run cables. So let's go ahead and show you the unboxing of these wireless bridge, do a quick overview, and then get to work installing them. The Adelov wireless bridge comes in two different boxes. This first one is the mounting hardware. You've got a little instruction page on how to install. There are four different hose clamps, which will help to go around the bracket to hold the wireless bridge in place. The brackets themselves are fairly simple. It's this 90 degree bend on a pipe. So you'll be able to attach the wireless bridge up here on this part of the pole. And then over here, you can either attach to a pole or you can remove this plate and just have this attached straight to a wall, which is what I'm gonna be doing. So we'll get to that here in just a moment. It's pretty straightforward. If we move on to this box, you have the actual wireless bridge themselves. So here is the user manual. It shows you all kinds of different configurations and how to install plus specs over here. We'll look at that in just a moment. A couple of hose clamps, a couple of uh, ethernet cables to go from your uh, power adapters to the, um, the wireless bridge. So there are two different adapters. You got your PoE and your LAN over here, just a typical wall plug. I'll show you how those are installed in just a moment as well. And then down here are the actual wireless bridge themselves. So you've got the uh, analog right there. It shows a strength over here and also a power or LAN 1, LAN 2. Your options for mounting are either the hose clamp around here, you can attach to a wall with these right here, or you can do the, uh, the pole right there. So works out pretty good. As far as a tour around the unit goes, the main thing you need to know is down here, you pull this bottom cover off, and then you've got the um, LAN 1, LAN 2, power, and you can swap from uh, A to B right here as well. And there's a display right there that'll show you um, what kind of mode you're in. All right, let's go ahead and install these wireless bridge. As a quick example of how these are installed, you've got your adapter for power. The POE stands for Power Over Ethernet, and that's just going to power up these devices using the Ethernet cables. So here's what you do. First, you open up the bottom of the wireless bridge, and you'll see there is a little toggle switch up under here. The master, or the one closest to the internet, is gonna have the A selection over here. And then the one that's gonna be reading this, or known as the slave, will have the B setting. So those need to be uh, put in that position. And so now, I'm going to be um, hooking up the POE to the ethernet cable. So it'll be like this right here. And then LAN 1, if you find that over here on this side, is what's gonna have that power right there. And then the internet, let's say my uh, home router, is gonna go hooking up to the LAN on this. And that goes over to the router in the house. And then that is all you have to do for that right now. Once it's got power, of course, you have to um, press the black button to match the channels. So like A and A, for example. Over here, it's gonna be the same thing. Hook up the uh, LAN number one to the PoE. It goes over here to this one, PoE. And then this side will go out to your uh, router or hub or whatever you're using down on the far end. So um, keep that in mind, that's how it's set up. And of course, have to match the channel here as well. I've already run my ethernet cables through the wall to be able to access these outside. I've got my PoE. I'm going to plug this up into this receptacle here. And I need to make sure that I have the PoE going to the unit outside. And then I need to have the LAN going to my router inside here. There we go. And that's going to basically power up the unit outside. It may be a little bit hard to see from your angle, but I've put two screws up here in the correct position to attach to these holes right here on the unit. And I'm just going to slide that in. 
and then bring it down. And that's all I need to do to hold this up here on the wall. And now this ethernet cable is going to the PoE inside. And I wanna make sure this is on position number one. So land one. Very good. And that will power on the unit. Now, if you look down here, I need to make sure that my dip switch is on the B setting. Okay, I just flipped that over. Now the little black button over here, I'm gonna short press that to change the channel. Let's go to something like five ought to do it. And that should be the only thing I have to do on this unit. On my other building, I'm gonna be installing one of the bent poles. And that's because I need to turn the wireless bridge to face the other one. These bridge are directional. So I wanna have at least a line of sight and also them facing each other from the front. So with this bent pole here, I don't need this part right here, which will allow me to attach to say a fence post. Uh, so I'm going to loosen that up and then turn it to the side. And I can use a Phillips head here to um, undo the screw that's inside. And I can take that plate all the way off. And then that will allow me to attach this directly to the side of a building. And that's what I'm gonna do up here at my other location. So let's go up there real quick. Now I'm in the building that already has the internet and I'm gonna go ahead and install the uh, power adapter here. So once again, the LAN goes down to the router and the PoE goes out to the uh, wireless bridge. And I'm just going to plug that up to the power and this little light will turn green, meaning that the unit outside will have power. I pre-installed the bracket before a major rainstorm here. Uh, basically just put a couple of screws in the wall. You're able to adjust this to access those screws better. So keep that in mind. All right, now that I have the pole up here, I've also got my ethernet cord through the wall. Let's go ahead and get the bridge itself installed on this pole. I'm gonna take one of the included hose clamps and loosen it up all the way. I'm gonna take one end and place it up under the bridge here. And I'm gonna go ahead and tighten this way down because it has to be able to fit on top of that bent pipe. I tightened the hose clamp way down so it will fit on top of this pole. Let me go ahead and open up here so we can get to the inside of this bridge. So just like before, LAN 1 is going to be where I am going to be putting the Ethernet cable, but I also want to go down here and make sure that the dip switch is on the B setting. So I've got that done. Go ahead and plug this up into LAN 1. All right, I'm going to give that a second so that the lights come on. The bridge now says number one. I'm going to once again press that little reset button until we get to channel number five. I'm going to put the cover on here and we will step down and wait for these two to connect and get our internet set up down there. Like I was saying before, these are directional. So I'm going to tighten this down so that it is facing in this direction toward the other building. Looking at the signal bars, it seems as though a connection has already been made. Let's step down to the other building and see what's happening. Stepping down here to the second location, it looks like we have full signal as well on this one. Great. Let's go inside and see if the internet is working properly. I just connected my phone up to my router, which is connected to these wireless bridge, and now I have internet down here in my studio. So I'm able to uh, browse the Amazon page for these wireless bridge. If you're looking to install remote Wi-Fi up to three miles from the source, the Adlove wireless bridge set is definitely a good option. Now you can buy a multi-pack of these or like I have just the two of them that talk to each other. And it is a great way to run Wi-Fi a long distance without having to have a physical cable. In my case, it's about 150 feet between my buildings and that would be too far for me to have to run a cable. So installing these is quick and easy and gets the job done quite nicely. Also, if you're looking to share internet with neighbors, you could also do the same thing. Have one person pay for the internet service 
and then split it up with different bridge around the neighborhood. All kinds of options. Or, uh, for example, if you have security cameras that have to have Wi-Fi, then you can take these wireless bridge and extend it a long ways across the field and then have Wi-Fi, say, at your front gate. So definitely a fun way to have internet somewhere and not have to run the cables. Be sure to check the link in the description down below where you can purchase these. I'm Seth with Tools, Tech, and Gear, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.